Kia ora tātou katoa. Welcome to Project Sunrise. This is video number three. In this video, we're headed over to Moki and the Cook Islands just to get a feel for the place, just to see if this is really, um, you know, if it feels right, if this is what we want to do, if we're ready to move over. Um, so yeah, we're rolling pretty deep on this trip. We've got uh, myself, my dad, we've got Uncle Maka, Uncle T, Uncle Blackie and Uncle Ben. So yeah, there's quite a few of us going, um, just so that the uncles can show me around and show me the land and um, yeah, it's a pretty special trip because a lot of um, my um, uncles and my dad haven't been back to Moki in like something like 40 plus years, like since they left. So very special trip um, and we're just going to suss it out, uh, come along for the ride. Let's go check out Moki in the Cook Islands. Let's go. We off, we off. See you guys. See you later, my bro. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, eh, when I get back. Are you going? Catch you, bro. Yeah, I'm going to Wellington and then I'm flying to the Cook Islands. Bye. I love you, bro. Are you yeah. going? See you, boy. Mm. Bye, darling. Bye. Mm. Yes, Catch you later, bro. See you in a couple of weeks. Oh, man, brother. Yeah. Man. Safe okay, uh, travels, bro. Yeah, thanks, bro. Same to you. Yeah. Did you sing that one? No. It's Charlie. Is he? Yeah. Where is he? Yeah, he says he's. Yeah. Just a couple of days before we we're about to depart for the Cook Islands, Uncle Blackie calls me up and tells me that he can't come because he's having um, some health troubles. So on our way to fly out of Cook Islands, we went and visited Uncle Blackie in the hospital. Hey. Oh, oh. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing, man? Oh, this is a good day. You sit, you sit. Um, mm. Nice to see you, Uncle. Good to see you. Happy day. Everything was finished. Yeah. Finished completely. Finished. Yeah. So, I said bye. You came by yourself? You came by. You came with me. Uh, Toshan. Oh. I said bye. And he said bye. So I walk out. I want to ask his name when they run out to the old Blackie here to come back. You can have a meeting with the doctors. What? And he said to me, oh. Black is supposed to be lying somewhere off. And I said, oh, fine. Then the doctor said, you are walking down <laughs> <laughs> wrong. what? Yeah. Your rate is 138. Your pulse right now, sure. And I said, oh, but you can see. You're supposed to be 85. 85, yeah. And I said, I'm alright. I think my trouble from the wall and his foot. They said, ah, you're not going home, you're going upstairs. And I said, okay, for I said, yes, I'm going tomorrow on Sunday. <laughs> so I said, see more daughter. You're not flying my man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Blackie. Thank you, Uncle Blackie. Thank you, Uncle Blackie. Thank you, Uncle Blackie. Crazy, eh? Maybe lucky, eh? Yeah. Mm. And we were really gutted that Uncle Blackie couldn't come on this trip. He's the one, like, probably out of all of us, most looking forward to going back to Moki to visit. Um, you know, he's just, you could just tell that he really is keen to get back. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate that he couldn't make it on this trip. But his flight's in credit, and so we're really looking forward to when he can um, make it over. But it actually um, could have been a blessing in disguise. We're about to encounter some dramas at the airport, which could have been um, quite stressful for Uncle and uh, probably not good in his condition. Uncle? Hey, <laughs> hey, the day is hey. finally here, eh? Hey, hey. hey. Uncle. Hey, oh, how are you, man? Nice to see you. Oh, Hello, wow. bro. Mm. 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 So long. I know. It's been a long time. Working hard. Way under. But this one. <laughs> Try this one. 
<laughs> is that your bag? Yeah. What the heck? The COVID test, you test. did it all the same time, right? Yes, all, yep. all, yes, uh, all Friday. So what time yep. do you remember? Uh, some of us got it in Wellington around 10, 11 a.m. And then some of us got it done in Palmston North about 2 p.m. So it's all after 8 o'clock in the morning? Collected. Yeah, all after. Yeah, we, were, we made sure. You need to be, is this for Raro? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you need to be able to prove it. I got it. Yep. Oh, can yep. I? So we need to see that because okay, she said they seen? wouldn't uplift. So we don't want to send you up there and have yeah, to yeah, yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want me to show you? Yeah, yeah. This is not so it needs to be the reported time. It's not time. I see it's time. I have a medical centre too. So I'm glad okay, is this your normal medical centre? I believe it's, it's one of my uncle's ones. Again, eh? um, yeah. It needs to be 40. I okay, so Raro. this young girl, she's part of this group on a separate booking. She said 11.30, 12 o'clock was her appointment on the 28th. They need to be able to show it. it's not, she can't show what, you. What, is, what about that time at the bottom there? No, that's, that's the it. time it was sent to. Nah, it's the bloody medical centres that didn't put the time you fellas got it. Mate. So we've got to use your app to have a look. But that's only going to show on your one, not... Um, not their one. There's a couple over there. They're in the same problem. Cause the uh, you got to go the My Health. Nah, nah. You got to go. You know the COVID app. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Phone all right? I don't think so, eh? All of us not all right. All the medical center. Cause medical center didn't put the time. They only put the day. And they, cause there's another couple, same thing, same place. And they called Raro, and Raro said, no, he has to show the time. <laughs> so so you're, it's our medical center that can do their job. It's not looking good, eh? Nice. They said if we can't get the time, then we won't. They say if you go to Auckland, it's at your own risk. You, if, you, and you, if you can't get it, they won't let you on the plane, and then you'll be stuck in Auckland. No, that's right. Just go, because then you can ring. You can just They're not up. opening today. They're it's closed on Sunday. Yeah, you'll get a hold of somebody. Do they have a number? Um, that, was a, that was their number. And you called it and it didn't answer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's um, it's after hours. And yeah, no, you'll get somebody. Go. Just tell them you'll take that risk, love, and I'll come up. Mm. Is that just muckers or just all of them? Hmm? Is it muckers or just all of them? All of them. So in case you didn't catch what was going on, um, this is during, this is at the beginning of um, 2022 and um, airlines are requesting that passengers get a uh, PCR test to show that they don't have COVID and so uh, my uncles had actually gone to a medical centre that didn't put the date on the certificate to say when they got the test done. And because you had to get the test 48 hours before you departed, um, there was no way that the airline could tell. Um, when the test was done because it didn't show the time so technically they couldn't fly from Auckland to Raro because the the PCR test didn't have the date on it uh, But it was actually my mum who said nah, just go don't worry about it um, You know just have faith and just get up to Auckland worst case scenario if you can't fly out of um, Auckland then I'll come pick you guys up because we, we would have been stuck in Auckland if we weren't allowed to go on the plane But it was actually um, my sister Sarah and my brother Sam um, they I just remember getting on the flight to Auckland and then calling them and saying, hey, bro, sis, I woke them up. This is like four o'clock in the morning. I said, guys, we're in some trouble. We, you need to get a hold of this doctor at this medical center, get him to um, issue new test results that show the date when they got tested. Um, I don't know how you're gonna do it, uh, but we're flying to Auckland and without it, we won't be able to go to the Cook Islands. So what it, please do whatever you can do. Just try and contact this doctor. Um, and you know that's when the flight attendants come to me and said sir please get off your phone we're we're getting ready for the for a liftoff and um yep so we we're flying on the plane to auckland no idea if we're going to be able to get on this flight um but then we we land in auckland we transfer from domestic to international airport and then um i get a call from my brother sam he's like bro we got a hold of the doctor we just spammed everybody on facebook every every person on facebook with that name Eventually we got a hold of him and he's um, sending you new um, test results now that have the date. So my uncles, I told them they were absolutely elated. Um, they thought I was like the man, uh, but little did they know the real MVPs were um, Sarah and Sam. Shout out to you guys for 
uh, getting a hold of the doctor and uh, getting us the certificates so then we were able to fly get on the plane head over to Rarotonga and then uh, eventually make it to Moke in the Cook Islands let's go Yeah, you made it, man. Yeah, I haven't made it. <laughs> Finally here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Rara. And um, you got to make the most of this. Nana i rau kai tō mātou tika tia mātou i te rere mai me i Wellington mai tai mai mātou ki kone me Auckland e tai a kamana mani tai tarai te oro oro ere anga ki te take mātou i nga rai rau te taka tere anga te atua o rau kai e mātou te tai mai ki rau tangi ki a kamete ke te atua te au merikiri ki tā mātou i rau i te au me nune ko rira e au merikiri ki i tāna ka tere anga ki a kamete ke te te mai sinā mātou o rira ke wai u mai rai te aro o te atua ki nga i a ko e wai puna te au nga tā tātou kārau te tūnga tā tātou kā kārau Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We made it family, after all those um, obstacles, we've made it to Moke in the Cook Islands. It's a beautiful feeling to be here, my uncles are super happy to be here. I love seeing the look on my uncles faces, some of them haven't been back here since they were kids. Um, so it's a pretty special moment for the Tahiria family. It's just a beautiful thing, thanking the Lord for just all of our blessings and we can't believe that we're here. I just want to give a special thanks to those people who are um, donating money to Project Sunrise via the Open Collective page. Uh, thank you Fire Robbie, thank you Kaz Tariu, um, some of the big donors there and just all the family and friends who are um, contributing financially to Project Sunrise. It's much appreciated. We haven't um, spent any of the pool yet. We're sort of, um, the committee is deciding um, sort of what, what purchases are sort of going to be most important. 
but I just want to thank you guys for um, contributing and chipping in and helping out. In the next video, my uncles will give us a tour of the land so we can see where Project Sunrise is going to be built. So yeah, signing out from Mauke Cook Islands. Peace.